Welcome to my lecture online. Here we begin to review the concept of gravity and then of course how to calculate all the various parts of gravity. But first we start out by reviewing again what gravity actually is. So the question is, is it a force? We do know that if we have two objects, each containing a certain amount of mass, m1 and m2, they will attract one another with a certain amount of force depending upon the distance between them. And the equation that Newton derived about 300 years ago was that the force is equal to some constant, the universal gravitational constant, times the product of the two masses divided by the distance between the center of masses of the two objects. And g is now known to be about 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 Newton's meter squared per kilogram squared. And so, given any two masses, you can calculate the force of attraction between them. But notice, in order for the, there to be any force, both objects must have mass, and that was thought of for many years, for several hundred years, that was the belief. But then Einstein came along, and he claimed that light is also affected by gravity, but we know that light does not have mass. So how can light be affected by gravity, and of course, it, it as light passes a very large object like another star or planet, it will actually change direction due to the gravitational attraction. But notice, there's no mass here, light doesn't have mass, so the force should be zero. Hmm, if the force is zero, then how can light bend around a large object? So there's more to it than meets the eye. So this equation works for all the applications that we need in physics and all the applications we need in uh, engineering and even in space travel, it always works. But we know there's something else at play. We also know that gravity is what causes stars, planets, and moons to pull into a spherical shape. And the larger the mass of the object, the greater the force of gravity towards the object. So it appears as if mass does something to the space around it, causing other objects to be attracted to it. But we don't quite understand that principle yet. We sometimes talk about the bending of space, but we really don't know yet what it is that's causing gravity to exist. But it does exist, and here's the equation of gravity that works all throughout the universe, and that's the equation we'll be using in the, in the videos to come. And that is how it's done.